The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. Alright guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck at you guys and we are always smiling. So, uh, in this particular little outing, I have no clue where we are. We're just out here trying to find a bit of street food. And of course, it is a super hot summer, so we are going to always try to be pretty close to the river. Which you guys might have noticed that we are definitely close to the river. So, this excursion is going to be taking you guys to a little tiny home. If you guys know, tiny homes have become quite a very popular thing because really and truly, we don't really need much as people. We just choose to take a lot and the tiny home concept shows the complete opposite it's really all about how much important things you can put in a very small space and at the same time keep it very functional so we are out here in beautiful portland and we're going to check out this tiny home here and hopefully somewhere along this journey we can get some amazing street food but yeah we're i guess it's like in the middle of nowhere because like they said the closest food stop is like somewhere around an hour away and of course even if you're coming from kingston portland is really hard to get to um on the map it basically said an hour and 45 minutes and this journey felt somewhere around like two hours and 30 minutes so yeah and again four-wheel drive vehicle would be super essential unless you want to tear off the whole air front end i think a four-wheel drive vehicle would you know make better sense but anyway let's take a quick tour on the inside of this place i think it's amazing it's pretty off-grid because yeah they don't use electricity it's filled with solar panels on top so let's take a walk in and i'll show you guys what it looks like all right so as you walk up it's pretty unassuming um very small like the use of the wooden structure and everything and the glass nice little patio here where you can chill out and um yeah let's pop our key in and um yeah see what it looks like on the inside wow super cute in here you guys can see you know the glass and everything like that and this probably is a selling point for me this huge glass front there you know you can wake up in the morning and you know see the beautiful outdoors and then of course even though it's off-grid it has a nice little touch 
automated feature so right away like right now it's super hot so if you want to cut back on some of the heat boom and it does that for this window as well you can stop it and then automatically bring it back up it's pretty cool uh pretty simplistic uh not much to it now let's take a quick look at the bathroom and then when you open it up what i like is the use of the zinc i don't know it makes it look a lot more different and then yeah it's pretty cool and in here wow yeah you're not really getting to see much of a view per se it's mostly just the bushes and stuff like that but that's still cool and yeah you get some mountain range there so pretty cool and then the last room adjacent to the bathroom is a small little kitchenette got some sugar a little cooktop there stove yeah and i think some cutlery is in there as well i never noticed this but um it actually is open it feels like an outdoor kitchen in some ways because it's not enclosed it only has uh, these mosquito meshing because the mosquitoes here are pretty terrible they will treat your body like your body belongs to them they just jump on it and they just start sucking like no joke but anyway we put on some off deep woods and that one works as a charm so if you come here you can definitely um try the off deep woods yeah and it really works jilly is outside with vanilla vanilla is on this trip um by right pets by right are not allowed on the property but uh the owner watches some of the content so that was pretty cool and i did mention that we'll have her in the crate most of the time um so that you know because people normally who own airbnbs their problem with having pets is that some people let their pets sleep in the bed which is not cool because other guests will you know what i'm saying and pet dander is a it's a hell of a thing um and of course they have chickens and stuff like that and vanilla is notoriously known for chasing chickens so um she will be on her leash of course to take her walk she will come with us to the river and stuff like that but when she's inside then yeah she has to be in her crate um yeah jilly hi guys what do you think about the place the place is nice it's tiny can we survive in this space together for <laughs> it's nice guys but... <laughs> say hi vanilla Hi guys. Yeah, Vanilla hasn't been on the videos for a minute because, yeah, the type of content we were filming, yeah. What is it, guys? Oh, yeah, she put on some. Fantastic. She gets chunky. Put a little chunky, but Vanilla eat woolly pop porridge. Alright, Beans, what is your favorite part on the room here? I like the, I like the, I like the bathroom. The bathroom? Yeah. Now, as usual, I know a lot of persons are going to know how to find this place or where it is. It's on Airbnb. It is not a paid promotion or anything like this. I wanted to come to this place from I was out in Ghana. Now I have some free time to do it and we are here. So check the link in the description box and you guys can check it out. They don't only have just this um, small tiny house type of setup they actually have larger cabins so i think there's somewhere around three of them so whatever the type of look that you're going for you can actually find it here and um what else in terms of parking yeah there is parking on property fortunately so if you're somebody who's worried about that you can park out front and you can have your car pretty close by but like i said if it's not like a four-wheel drive i'm not sure the average car can do that river crossing quite safely but if you're reckless i'm sure it's possible now speaking about rivers there is a how could you say someone who oversees a property so he's basically like the supervisor and the tour guide uh, michael so michael tomorrow morning at about 10 a.m will be taking us up to a waterfall so there's a waterfalls um, here which is basically free so once you come to stay here you can enter that waterfalls for free there is also another um attraction they call it a whirlpool um there you can pay somewhere around a thousand dollars to enter and um if you're looking for other excursions we did pass the blue mountain cycling situation so you guys can go up there and check it out i think the only downside for me personally is there's not much food close by so if you're looking to do what I'm doing right now in terms of street food, that might be a little downside. Going back that way, like I mentioned, the road is, is 
pretty bad. However, very scenic because you're seeing so many different changes in atmosphere. But they said that the way back down to Bull Bay, he mentioned, Buff right? Bay. Yeah, the way back down to Buff Bay, as he mentioned, um, it's better road and you can get food somewhere around an hour away, he said. He said it was about 35 minutes. But you know what, so I was wondering if we drove that way, if we wouldn't have better roads, we probably would have gotten here around the same time. Because from Kingston to Buff Bay, Buff Bay is where Melissa had a restaurant. Mm. So I think about it, from Kingston to Deer, and then 35 minutes from Buff Bay to here, with better roads. Yeah, that, that, that could be something. Traveling the other way that we usually drive to get to Portland because it's better road. So yeah, chances are I would have gotten here quicker. But um, yeah, I think the thing that we're going to go after now is to try to find some food or some snack spots. Um, I might cook up by the river, but something pretty simple, pretty rustic. But still, we need to get some fish. So um, yeah, that's going to be the vibe now. So yeah, we'll catch you whenever we figure out what we're doing today like i said there's no plans there's no agenda we're just out here in portland and um yeah just to have a good time basically um explore jamaica uh, i think in the way that it should be explored and um give each and every jamaican the opportunity towards business so it would be good to find some places that are not so popular you know and we can give it a vibe. All right, let's go get some street food. Currently on our way to to Buff Bay, and as we quite rightly notice, it's just like yeah, it's not much going on around here. There's uh, there's a couple shops, but I think in true country fashion, people cook their own meals. <laughs> you know, so um, yeah, Jelly was mentioning that um, maybe there's some way you could put it on the Airbnb for people to know that you know you, know, you may bring your own food. about um, going the other direction where we kind of have some familiar oh look at that waterfall oh wow look what we ran into wow yeah a lot of beautiful things to stop and see on the way um point of advice when you're driving on country roads in jamaica please use your horn because some people who are brought up around this area because they know the road so well they just drive really quickly and the road is very small very small country roads speaking of that here we go this lady's just driving around drinking her juice, drinking her juice. no harm but i signal mine to slow it down of course um so yeah we're on our way to buff bay rain or shine it's about an hour it's like 11 miles dimension so you realize that when you ask them how far buff bay is it's 11 miles like that's supposed to be Usually in Jamaica we don't eat well for me I don't use miles. So I guess um So what do you use? Time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like 20 minutes away. Anyway, we're heading on our way to both base so, you know we'll catch you guys there, hopefully we get something nice to eat. Alright guys, so we'll make a quick little stop. Um I guess it's gonna be early to version of street food because yeah, we see it's like a kid with this is um 
like a little fruit stall so I cop some stuff from it. Yo, these plantings are like the biggest. Babe, put it on the side if I can show them. That's no, my babe. Anna. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look at these plantings, watch it. Yeah. Wow. Planting a proper. Crazy. Proper. Alright, I'll get some stuff from him. You have any you have any sugar cane cut up? No? Did you have jelly cut up already? Yeah, making. So I think you, 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 you are running short. Yeah, let's go and get the last one. Eh? Uh, no. right. Coolest thing about this stall is like just below there, you can actually hear the sound of the river. So, yeah, it's like a vibe. Nothing special, nowhere popular, but just a nice little stall going on. And um, yeah, we'll get some coconut water. I probably might get two plantain. We can do for. Um, for dinner tomorrow or whatever the case is so let's see how that goes so you see all of my plant you grow everything except the breadfruit breadfruit and the coconut oh the dry one yeah what thinking to grow up on tree yeah oh, okay. big tree oh wow hey Margo I want to squeeze a lime on my coconut here we can do that yeah. I'm bad style in on a room too. No, I'm not in a room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want lime? No, I never have that yet. I always eat in a day. That song there. You make, put the lime in the coconut and mix it all up. Or cheers. Tastes good to me. Oh, wait. I'll put, I'll put some in mine and you can try. How is it? It's good, not sweet, but it's refreshing. It's it not sweet. Mm -mm, but it's refreshing. Yeah. Not sweet, it's too, too, too. <laughs> Respect. Why, why does it have this color? You know, this is a different, that one, a different type of coconut? Yeah, this is a first time coconut. Okay, okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to put the car lime in there. Yeah. Just get a little vibe still. Nothing too special, but to give a vibe. Oh god. You wanna try? Yeah. You're not loving. You know? <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me, me of a medicinal concoction. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. For me, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Mm, good feeling. Mm -hmm. Some mm. rum and honey in that. Flu mix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we keep it real. But for me, I like it. Julie don't like it that much. And that's why I said to her, let me put it in mine so you can try it. Because, yeah, it's not for everyone. But for me, it's a, it's a nice like a tropical mix. You put like a sugar in there as well, that will make it even more amazing. But anyway guys, drop it in the comments and let me know if you have ever tried coconut with some lime in there. Some lime and jelly. Thick. Not too hard. <laughs> Not too soft. Just right. <laughs> Respect. See guys? Or if you want to. Mm. Is there a viral friend? Yeah. 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 So far, I'm like that side of the river. I'm like the, um, the river as well. We're driving up the side. Everybody from this side ever like it? Hmm. Got the wrong half, baby. Hmm? Pick up the wrong half. That's your half? That's so your half, the lime half. Oh. So, how long have you been living here? Me? Mm. Okay. Mm. Party. Party. You are party eight? <laughs> you like a party eight? 
Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
recognize me as a YouTuber, I start talking about YouTube, it makes me get a little bit, I feel a bit awkward. It's something I've never quite mastered as yet, but I think it's something that keeps me humble. However, what was really cool, the guy who was doing the fish just now, he gave us the fish for free. So please guys, whenever you are in Portland, check him out. And what he was mentioning to us is that at this particular time, they're finding that um, Jack Trevally, that is what is most common right now. So that's why they have those um, caught there. He said it's a very good fish for roasting. Um, fun fact, Jack Trevally actually grows way bigger. I don't know if the meat gets tougher when it gets that big, but drop in the comments and let me know. I know that usually people don't like cooking it. I get that from my actual YouTube channel that I watch every now and again and I hear them say that. So again, educate me, let me know if I'm saying anything that is bull. Anyway, we're gonna check out Melissa really quick, have some food there, and we're gonna peruse the rest of the road and see what else we can find to eat today. Oh, this Biggie! Biggie! Welcome back, boy. <laughs> What's your Pigtail soup with chicken foot, fish, chicken, um, yeah. Vibe. Right. I want some soup. Yeah. Here goes pigtail and chicken foot soup. Pigtail and chicken foot soup. Pigtail and chicken foot soup. Yeah, so fish soup too. So who wanna eat pork? You can you can't get fish the same way. <laughs> Vibes. Yeah, we have all the jerk chicken and jerk pork as well. Nice. Nice. Boss, I guess. So, Mel just hooked us up with some chicken and some pork. Guys, look at the color on that. Do you want to try? Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm so good. <laughs> what do you say? Hell yeah. I'm going to leave the bones in the dog. Ketchup, please. Ketchup. Ketchup, me and pepper. You say it's ketchup? Yeah. Ketchup. Wait. The pepper is very hot in this place. And the pepper. And the pepper is very hot in this place. So if you don't know, Portland is known to have like one of the best jerks, whether it's pork or chicken or whatever. Wow. The pork skin nice. Nice. Wow. Pepper, have you? Come on, have me, I missed that eat. <laughs> Now, one thing that I really enjoy about coming to Melissa's is not just about the food or being on the little beachfront and just being able to see, you know, the hustle bustle of Buff Bay. It's her uncanny way of really getting along with everybody here inside of the community. Um, you might have overheard at one point she was saying that, you know, somebody came, they were hungry today, and they asked for a lunch and she gave it to them. And as she rightfully mentioned, at the end of the day, her pot was empty. Meaning that after giving that one blessing, like people kept buying and buying and buying and buying. So it's always good to always give back in some form or way. So um, I, I really enjoy seeing that. Um, since we've been here, there's been around eight persons that stopped by. We've been here for probably like, what, 10 minutes? So business is good. Business is developing, as you guys can realize. You know, it's painted up. It's not exactly the way it was before. I'll drop a link to the video so you guys can see, you know, the development of this place. And I hope you guys can stop by and give her more support as it relates to that. My favorite part on the jerk pork skin. That's it? No, no, no. Okay. Mm. This pepper she said was made today, this morning. It is so hot. Pepper Queen, how is it? <laughs> Where's the oil food go? Nice. Nice? Yeah. Vibes. Why you, you order? Pork, jerk pork. Pork, jerk pork. Yeah. Vibes. Well, look a bit. Alright, take care. And be good and safe travelers. <laughs> All right, vibes, bye. Yes, bye. Yeah, once you get into Buff Bay and you see that sign, can't miss.
All right, so we are about to head out. Once you get into Buff Bay, you will see the big JLP sign. It's a big green sign. I'll put the link in the description box so you guys can find the drop pin for this place. Super easy to find. Now the building is it's still in construction. It's blue, you can't miss it. Anyway, we're gonna head a little bit down on the stretch right now and see if we can um, find another food stop to introduce you guys to. But if not, we'll just grab some dinner from Mel and then um, head back home. So we stopped off really quick to buy some butter and get some information on to where the closest restaurant would be. We're here it's somewhere off in Hope Bay, so hopefully we can get there and we can find something good. Jilly is now doing a little time lapse of this amazing sunset that we are seeing. Check it out on her channel. We continue to look vibe. This is what I want from um, anybody coming to Jamaica or anybody who lives in Jamaica. If you have some gas, even though gas prices are very high right now, find a friend who have a care <laughs> and let them drive. And um, yeah, travel. Contribute to the gas. Yeah, con yeah. yeah, contribute to the gas, guys. Do contribute to the gas. <laughs> and um, you know, enjoy the island. All right, so let's talk the ugly truth. So when we were in Buff Bay, everybody was saying that we'd have to drive out to Hope Bay to see some food. And the sad truth is, yeah, that's not where the food's at, as far as I'm concerned. If you guys are from the Hope Bay area, then you can let me know and you know drop some tips. But you know, basically driving past the street side, there wasn't much to see. Usually, you know, being like a beachfront type of fisherman type of area, I would expect to find like a nice little seafood spot, you know, where nothing over the top, but just, just something, something with some seafood, roast fish, fried we fish, have, something. Um, we have a little porty, but um, I think they're Yeah, seeing that they're closed down. down. So real and truly, it's not much of a food stop. Um, we actually drove past Hope Bay out a little bit more and then decided that, yeah, that was enough gas so um, we headed back it was a nice drive coming back because we could see the finishing phases of the sunset so that was kind of cool and of course we stopped off at uh, melissa's to get some food so we got some fried chicken rice and peas i got another soup because it's really that good and um shout out to everybody who had hit me up in my instagram dms or dropped a comment and told me that they did try melissa's and they did enjoy the food i appreciate you guys going out there to support her and give her a vibe anyway um shout out to everybody we met today too yeah we met a couple of people as well who watch the channel so i really appreciate that um, love and support um okay now to this place that we're at right now if you're coming here, I would suggest that you bring some food. Make sure you bring some food, you bring your snacks, bring your drinks, bring whatever, because things are, yeah, there's not very much close by. Also, if you are going to be coming from the Kingston area, I would suggest that you drive as if you're going to St. Mary. And then when you get into Buff Bay, yeah, follow the GPS. Reason being, even though it's a longer drive, technically in terms of miles, the roads are far better so that's what i would go with as opposed to that road and um yeah trying to get anything else off the dome i don't think i can think about anything else for this particular trip anything <laughs> yeah i did mention that already so anyway guys um we'll catch you guys tomorrow where we're going to be going to um, go to a nice little waterfalls. You know, we could probably try to do a little breakfast, nothing over the top. I did bring a, a little stove. Um, really would like to do some wood fire cooking, but yeah, it rains a lot in this area, so 
let's see how that goes but either either way we'll be making something to eat in the morning and um i'll catch you guys on that video remember these three things love nature and adaptation and always remember to keep the link Pepper Hearts. <laughs>